Hey, what up? It's Ty E.T. 22 here to review WWE WrestleMania. First, I'm about to say WWE Raw by accident. So, WrestleMania 30 kicks off with the mortal Hulk Hogan. Now, Hulk Hogan, you know, say how it feels good to be back at WrestleMania. And I'm calling, you know, the Superdome, the Silver Dome, you know, Hogan you know, had a flashback in back in his day with him, Andre the Giant, had your moment. So then, you know, the crowd laughed at Hogan, but Hogan picked himself up. Uh, you know, they laughed it off. Then Stone Cold music hit. I marked out Stone Cold came out. He was, you know, telling Hogan how he respected what Hogan did for his business. Then, you know, he was like, we and the Superdome, Hogan was laughing at it. Uh, you know, then, you know, Hogan and Stone Cold, you know, still talked to each other, shook hands. And, you know, also like, you know, if you want Austin to kick my ass, give me a hell yeah. Then The Rock came out. I marked out The Rock, you know, did his finally The Rock has come back to WrestleMania. Finally, The Rock has come back to New Orleans. Then he was paying, you know, respect to the two biggest names in the WWE, Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin. This was just awesome. I had to see these three legends in the rank at once. Then, you know, The Rock did his catchphrase. Stone Cold did his catchphrase. Hogan did his catchphrase. They all shared a bear. Stone Cold music plays. This was an awesome opener to WrestleMania. Everybody on Twitter was like, I feel like a kid. I can't believe this. And this is a moment I will never forget at WrestleMania 30, the opener, Stone Cold Rock Hogan. First match of the night, Triple H versus Daniel Bryan. And the winner of this match will head into the championship match against Batista and Reigner for the WWE title and the World Heavyweight title. Triple H, very cool entrance. He had like a shell kind of mask. Cool stuff. Daniel Bryan, Triple H, this was a really good match right here. I love the way the match was pasted throughout the match. Uh, Triple H working on Daniel Bryan arm. You know, Daniel Bryan got his offense on Triple H. Back and forth, good action right here. So then Triple H, you know, he keep going with the uh, submission move and the submission move. Then Bryan hit him with submission move. Triple H hit, um, they call it a tiger suplex. Beautiful move right there by Triple H. So, you know, get to the end, Triple H going for a move. Brian reversed it. Brian hits Trey with the running knee to the face. One, two, three, your winner, Danny Bryan. And Danny Bryan will head to the championship match against Batista and Randy Orton. The New Age Outlaws and Kane versus The Shield. The Shield dominated these guys right here. Ronald Reigns with the Superman punch on Road Dog and Billy Gunn. This flying kick. Rollins did his thing. Dean did his thing. Then they end up hitting Road Dog and Billy Gunn with the double. Power Bob move, which was a cool spot right there. The Shield get the win. Great way to make the Shield look at WrestleMania 30. Just dominate these old guys. <laughs> the Battle Royal. Now, they had Sheamus and Big Show entrance. Everybody else, they were already right. So, at first, Lex like match would be like a clusterfuck, but it wasn't. Once the elimination start happening, when Cesaro did uppercut or Mysterio fell out the ring, it was cool. Cesaro threw Cole Kiss over the Top of the ropes, Kobe feet landed on the steel steps, got back in the ring, but Kobe did get eliminated. And uh, Dolph Ziggler, he did skip the camp, the real kicked him, cool spot right there. So then, you know, it comes down between the Big Show and Cesaro. This was good right here, the crowd was into it. Cesaro ends up picking the Big Show, toss him over the ropes, and Cesaro wins the Iron Jaden Giant Memorial Trophy. I am glad Cesaro won this right here. This guy is so over with the crowd. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt had a cool interest. It, 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 they had uh, the Sanders performing it live. This was, at first, it was nothing to me, but then it picked up. It was a lot of, lot of good storytelling during this match right here. Bray Wyatt did a signature. You know, they uh, thing from uh, the actresses, though, know, flipped upside down. I love when he do that right there. Then they actually, you know, picked up, got good. And Bray Wyatt went to see the hit him with a chair. He like do it, Cena, and Cena went to do it, so he ended up hitting a Harper. Then you know Bray went to attack John Cena. John Cena hit Bray Wyatt with the AA. One, two, three, your winner, John Cena. Bray Wyatt looked strong in this match. He didn't get buried. I don't want anybody saying he got buried. He did because Bray Wyatt is still a threat to John Cena, and this feud will continue down the line. The Shriek on the line. Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker. Taker had a cool interest. They showed the video package, and they had. The caskets of all the people he defeated at WrestleMania. So then we came out and looked at the casket. Then the one with Brock Lesnar one and went on fire. But this match right here was a big disappointment. The worst 
Undertaker WrestleMania match I ever seen in my life. The crowd did for this did for this match. They didn't pop his F five. They didn't pop that much for the two stone. The the last round was sloppy, but Brock Lesnar is a, a strong guy. It take forty nine years old, so you know it, it was just a bad match. Take a look at his age. Still, I'm watching the while I'm not really into the match. And people on Twitter wasn't into the match. So you know, all of a sudden, I know Brock Lesnar going for reversal, and Brock Lesnar hits Undertaker with the F five. One, two, three. Your winner, Brock Lesnar. I could believe Brock Lesnar defeated Undertaker in his street. Everybody in the crowd couldn't believe it. The people in the crowd were just like, if they was all in shock and one black guy, his face all over the internet with the, uh, as they say, yes shirt, glasses, man, you'll be famous for a while. And he was just all in shock. Everybody in the crowd just couldn't believe it. The crowd was quiet. They was angry as hell. The Undertaker just in the ring, looking around. No commentary. They talking very low. Everybody said, thank you, Taker. Thank you, Taker. This could be the last of the Undertaker. If he retired, I don't blame him because tonight he did not look like a man we all know that performed great at WrestleMania. So if this is the last match of Undertaker, I want to say thank you. Appreciate all the great memories, memories you gave me as a kid and to a grown up and a special wrestler fan. I just, I'm still shocked by Undertaker losing to Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar was always the right guy to defeat the Undertaker. They always say he's fine and a legit badass to beat, the beat Undertaker. And Brock Lesnar was that guy. And WWE, they don't have any young guys anymore. People say, oh, I got to be spying young. The last time they had the opportunity to do that was with Randy Orton. Now, you can't do it with nobody else because there's no upcoming stars right now. So Brock Lesnar was the right choice. Undertaker, once again, this is the last match. Thanks for everything. Adidas match. Adidas didn't need to defend her title. I didn't get this match at all, but, you know, her and Naomi ended up, you know, in the ring. And AJ Lee is up tapping out Naomi with her submission move. She's still the Divas champion. The triple threat match. Daniel Bryan, Batista, Randy Orton, the WWE World Champion. This was a good match right here. So then when I'm going through layers during the match, Trish got involved. Him, was her, him and Stephanie. So Triple H, you know, broke, broke uh, the yes lock up. So then, you know, uh, then Trish pulled up slash hammer. He didn't even use it on uh, Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan ends up hitting Triple H with the slash hammer. Trish was gone right there. So then, you know, Randy Orton hits the uh, RKO on, uh, you know, Bryan. I'm thinking it's over. And I thank God. It was a cool spot. They went on the top of the table. It was an RKO Batista vibe. You see blood or a bet. Uh, Daniel Bryan's on a stretcher. Daniel Bryan comes back in the ring. Then you see Batista uh, hits the Batista by Randy Orton. I'm thinking it's over. I'm like, no, no, no. He kicked out. So then uh, Daniel Bryan, you know, he gets back and do his thing. Um, Batista, you know, takes out Orton again. Then Daniel Bryan hits the yes lock on Batista. I'm like, come on, tap out, tap out, tap out. And Batista tapped out your new WWE World Champion, Daniel Bryan. I love this match right here. Great way to close out this show. You had the confetti everywhere. Everybody super dope doing a yes champ. Daniel Bryan holding both belts. I was happy that Daniel Bryan finally captured a moment. After all that stuff was going on with Triple H, he finally got his moment. He's what, a three time champion now? And I hope he had a longer reign. Now, this WrestleMania, it started out good, but it kind of went downhill in the middle of the show. But the last match of the night was a great way to end WrestleMania. And WrestleMania, I'm not going to say it was a terrible show, but I'm going to go with above average. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.